the importance of working in the environmental s- sector is preserving that life, that balance. My name is Maureen Cameron McMillan. I'm a regional biologist with the Department of Natural Resources and Renewables for the counties of Inverness and Victoria in Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. I've always been interested in uh, in nature and the outdoors, and so it seemed like a good fit in that regards to get into environmental field, both because I enjoy the work and and it's nice to be a part of helping to uh, preserve our environment and for, for future generations. I went to university at uh, Mount Allison in Sackville, New Brunswick. I did a degree in uh, biology and psychology, sort of a combined biopsychology degree. And after that, I went to Memorial University in Newfoundland for my master's, where I studied parental behavior in seabirds, the uh, Atlantic puffin, and the common myrrh. After university, I, uh, I came back to Cape Breton Island. I was looking for work in my field. I wanted to find something environmental. I saw an ad for a company called Amec Earth and Environmental, and they were looking for a receptionist, which I had no experience in that sort of thing, but I thought, it's got environmental in the name. It's a foot in the door. It can start somewhere. We had a wonderful chat, and uh, it was it was just really great. Nice. Uh, got to talk about what the company did and what my background was. About two weeks later, I got a call offering me a job not as a receptionist, but uh, as an air quality technician. Early in my career, I was on just a short-term contract. When that contract was over, I was hoping to get back on, but uh, wasn't sure that that would be feasible. So they had applied for an Eco Canada grant, which I was able to get in under that funding. And that really gave me a chance to sort of secure my footing with the company, develop my skills, and just make myself a valuable member of the team. And I can't overstate how important that was to to get my career going. Although I started out in air quality monitoring at, uh, at AMEC, it was really when I started working with other folks in the company, I kind of organically came out that my background was more in biology. So eventually developed into a career that was more in my own field. I I became the bird expert for the uh, maritime provinces. In 2013, I was chosen to attend a uh, technical conference for AMEC. And this was North America wide. I think we even had some delegates from from Europe and we were chosen to go to uh, outside of Las Vegas for a two-day technical conference where I presented a talk on bats and acoustic bat monitoring. So that was truly a blast and uh, just learning from my colleagues some of the interesting work that they're doing and to have the opportunity to share my own work. It was just an amazing experience. I was really grateful for it. I was with uh, AMEC until 2020. I had an opportunity to join the uh, Department of Natural Resources and Renewables, at the time the Department of Lands and Forestry. A lot of my work is around um, monitoring use on crown lands to ensure that, that the ecological integrity is maintained for crown lands. There's so much more we need to learn to document what's out there to kind of supplement our own knowledge base so that we can even better manage the uh, the crown land that we have. I am still involved with Eco Canada to this day. I uh, in 2018 I pursued pursued a EP designation and I've uh, I've been really happy to maintain that. I've also gotten involved in the uh, mentorship program. I got an email from Eco Canada uh, mentioning this mentorship program and uh, and encouraging people to sign up. And and I thought to myself, that's something that I really would have liked to have when I was a young professional. Mentorship is is really important. So when I was starting out, I wasn't really, uh, I didn't have an official mentor, but I just, I learned so much from my more experienced colleagues. So to be able to uh, participate as a mentor to someone who's kind of in the shoes that uh, I once was in, it's it's been really great. In recent years, I've just been uh, really excited to honestly to meet young people coming into the field and just 
the knowledge and the enthusiasm and the energy that they're bringing, it just, it just gives me life. It gives me hope. If I was uh, speaking to someone who's interested in an environmental career, I would encourage them absolutely to go for it. Uh, to take advantage of opportunities that are out there for uh, for organizations such as Eco Canada and other groups. I would also encourage them to get involved with local naturalists clubs. Urge them to keep an open mind. Just don't be afraid to go a little outside what you thought you'd be doing for for your job, because once you get in there, you'll have that chance to show off your strengths and really demonstrate what you know best. There's so much I love about what I do. And uh, I mean, I'm a field girl at heart. So a lot of what I love is is getting outside, be it like on snowshoes or a snowmobile or a helicopter or just out for a hike and uh, listening for different bird species. That's that's for me, that's a dream job is just getting outside. Living in a way that's that's more balanced and having that connection to nature. So when I think to the, uh, the end of the career and, and what my legacy will be, I really hope to see that our beautiful area here in Unamagi in Cape Breton is, is maintained, that we still have the uh, diversity of wildlife that I got to grow up and enjoy. I, I just want to see that stay. I just want to see it flourish and thrive. <laughs>